Hello, very warm welcome. F1 2021 liveries ranked. My favourite to my worst. We start with Aston Martin and my favourite livery of the 2021 cars. A shade of green with pink underneath and also pink on the shoulders of the race suit. We've got Lance Stroll, Sebastian Vettel bringing Aston Martin back to Formula 1 and trying to make them great. And it's one of the most intriguing aspects of how they're going to do. This is my favourite livery of the 2021 cars. Absolutely fantastic. I really do like this one. A uh, lot of history, Aston Martin, and that is my favourite livery. Now these are in order, so Aston Martin is number one. Simple. Comment down below your order, I would love to know. On to number two, we have Alpine. Transformed from Renault to Alpine, Fernando Alonso back on the grid for the first time in two years, and Esteban Ocon needs to work on that qualifying. But as you can see, this was another favourite livery of mine with the French kind of UK flag. And it was a steady launch. Um... The, I'm not ranking these for launches, I'm ranking them for liveries, so yeah, but Aston Martin was number one. Number two, Alpine, really like the colours and I think it fits very well. On to number three, Alfa Romeo. Now this one was, when it came out, I was actually at the shop. I came back and I was absolutely amazed and I really loved the car straight away. Alfa Romeo are keeping the same driver lineup with Antonio Giovinazzi and Kimi Raikkonen. But yeah, I like this Alfa Romeo car. A lot of white and red. Beautiful looking car, have to say. And let's see what they can do for the 2021 season. Do comment down below your order. I would love to know, but surely we're in agreement of Aston Martin being number one. Uh, on to number four, the world champions, Mercedes. This is the car that will win both championships once again. And we saw a different livery as Mercedes black, green, red and silver. Um, yeah, the livery got leaked on Twitter. I did a video on it and lo and behold, this was the livery. So yeah, number four. Now this is my order. Yours could be completely different, but I do give an honest reaction and I thought it'd be good to do a reaction to my favourite liveries. Covering all 10 teams and putting them in order, Mercedes is number 4 and we'll be seeing a lot of that. Now, number 5, McLaren. On to my favourite team. I was quite disappointed with their launch, but looking back now, the car, nice orange car with a trace of blue. And yeah, Daniel Ricciardo comes into the team. Lando Norris has been there a couple of years. And yeah, McLaren is number five. And yeah, McLaren was the first team to launch. Seems like a long time ago now, nearly a month ago, they launched a car on the 15th of February. Um, yeah, wow. I will bring this out on Saturday morning. And here is me giving my reaction. Now, the last launch uh, was Ferrari, the SF21. Now, we got a bit of a surprise with the Tracer Green, but Ferrari, are we on number six now? Yeah, six. We've had Aston Martin, Alpine, Alfa Romeo, Mercedes, McLaren, and Ferrari. Yeah, Ferrari, little trace of red, and then dark burgundy colour at the rear with that tint of green which was a big surprise next we go on to Alpha Tauri who will have the rookie Yuki Tsunoda and race winner Pierre Gasly Alpha Tauri was second to reveal their car and yeah at the time I really liked this one but looking back on it I would have to put it quite far down um, yeah maybe this could have I was torn between McLaren, Ferrari, Alfa Tauri, which order to put them in. So, 
Yeah, I could have switched them. Now, on to Haas, the most controversial livery of them all. Looking back on this, I was mixed. I didn't know whether I liked it or not. But yeah, having reflected, I would have to put this one quite low down. Mazepin is sponsor, the Russian flag. I'm not a fan of this livery. And the race suits are not great either. So, but we're going to have to get used to it. Be interesting to know where you put Haas in your top 10 for liveries. That is eight. We've got two more to go. And you're probably thinking, wow, I can't believe it. You're probably cursing at your screens that it my order, but yours could be completely different. Now on to Williams, one of the most iconic teams. But looking back on this car, I was very disappointed. They went back to their 80s, 90s, like the history, but for me, it looks a lot like an F2 car, this one. F2 livery, it looks very basic, there's hardly any sponsors on the car, and yeah, I've got to give an honest reaction, and I'm not a huge fan of this livery. Now, I have had time to reflect. Obviously, when I do my uh, reactions, they're instant, but looking back through these, I've put them in order, and this is my order. And we all know what the last team is. Red Bull. Yeah, I was hugely disappointed with their launch and the way they went about bringing it to the fans. Um, it's honestly like they put no effort into it. And it was rinse, repeat. But they've been very secretive, Red Bull. So let's hope they can put up a title fight. So there we have it. There's my 2021 liveries ranked in order. Comment down below your 10, I would love to know. Surely we can agree that Aston Martin is the best looking livery, followed by Alpine. Um, yeah, really comment down below. The support has been amazing. Comment down below, get involved. Adios.